Welcome to another Dan the Rabbit Hole video. Wanted to try out a couple of games because of something I recently discovered, one of which is one of my all time favorite Atari games. Well, games on the Atari 2600. This is Imagic's Demon Attack, which was a really, really great game, especially in the time that it came out, because I was always finding that the stuff that was coming out for the Atari 2600 seemed to skew a little easier or I mean yes you could change difficulty levels in things like Space Invaders but I always found it was never really like the arcade experience nothing was like Galaxian or Galaga until I got Demon Attack home in fact this was something a friend of mine had bought first and as soon as I played it on his Atari I was like oh yeah I gotta have this at home so I wanted to play this again but there's another game that apparently Atari wanted to sue a magic because they stole the idea or something anyway let's let's just play demon attack good old standard stuff so you're you're just shooting aliens very very galaxian slash galaga-esque and the levels whoa uh the levels do seem to reach a certain point of challenge and then they plateau and i could often play for hours in fact i had one of those versions of the cartridge that the game would crash or I think you could play for like 256 levels and then the game would stop like freeze right in its track and I always thought oh that's like for me an early version of a kill screen I thought hey you can actually finish demon attack and on an afternoon if I had nothing else going on I would play those 256 levels and I would freeze the game I was like yeah that's a kind of feeling of accomplishment I think a magic then released a fixed version of the cartridge later and it was something that you could play uh, forever I think or something I don't know but anyway I just I I love demon attack uh, and I I when I heard that there was another game that Atari felt hey a magic you took our idea I thought I just got to try this out because I have played the ever-living heck out of demon attack now there's a uh, a point where these guys will split in two. I think it's it's a couple levels down. Like now, instead of them dropping, ah, instead of them dropping their little uh, bombs or eggs or whatever those things were before, now these guys are dropping lasers. That's pretty cool. Freaking lasers! But I know that at a certain point, when you shoot them, they actually split in half, and then you got two little uh, demons that you have to shoot. Oh, you got me again. Uh, apologies for any uh, anybody uh, sensitive to flashes. This is this is a game that does that flashy thing. So I'm sorry if I'm setting that off. Actually, I'm dying. I don't know if I'll even get to those guys. Holy shoot! It's been a while. Now yeah, let's just see. It probably also doesn't help. I am playing this on my Retroid Pocket, and as you can tell, because I got a system update now, um, and I have talked about how I don't like. There we go. These are the guys that split in half. I don't like the using the D-pad on this thing because it's it's hard whenever you use when you're used to using the Atari 2600 joystick. This is a little bit trickier with the D-pad. So I got as far as the guys that split in half. However, now what I want to do is actually get out of here. Let's go back to my list of Atari games and I want to try out the other one, which is here, Phoenix. I heard that Atari launched Phoenix and it was very much the same idea as Demon Attack and I've never played Phoenix on the Atari. I played the the arcade original. But uh, I don't think it looks that similar. This is my first time playing Phoenix on 2600. So let's let's see what we got here. Oh, guess I have to start at level 1. I mean, like, I, I guess if you were being real picky, I suppose this is similar to Demon Attack. You got the basic bottom, but I mean, if anything, it's more like Galaxian. Very different. Oh, whoa, different, uh, different design. Whoa. See, I got to get my guy out of the way. All right, let's just get over, get away. Ooh, there's actually a little bit of slowness to uh, the guy that I play as well. Like when I want to move out of the way of those guys, there's like a little bit of lag. Jeez. That's tough. 
Is that me? Yeah, that's me. All right, let's do it again. Oh, and I had a shield I could have tried. All right. Let's do it again. Like, sure, it's kind of very similar, but... I mean, let's see if I can get this guy before he goes down below. No. Okay, you go away. How do I get that shield? Push down? Yeah. Oh, but you can't move. Oh, that sucks. So you either do it... Ooh, okay. But you can't move while you got that shield on. That's nasty. I can't remember if that's like the arcade original. Anyone that's a big expert, maybe you could let me know. But... I can't, I mean, maybe if Atari were being real picky, if if we were in that age of like, we want to make sure nobody takes our ideas, especially, I think Demon Attack probably sold very well. And maybe they were thinking, hey, that's not, that's not fair that you guys released a game that sort of looks like this. And we are the ones who, okay, admittedly, this looks a little more Demon Attack-ish. I will, I will give him that. This is a little more demon attack looking. And I'm dying. This is hard. Okay. Jeez. Is that me dead? That's me dead. All right, one more, one last time because I need to, I, again, never really played this before. So yeah, I can see the, the bird-like thing. Now that's, again, very much from the arcade original for Phoenix. Uh, yeah, for Phoenix. But I don't... Whoa. Okay, come here. Oh, sneaky. All right, let's get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him, get him. Get him. I'm going to die. I knew it as soon as I moved into that shower of lasers. There we go. Okay, let's do again. Because, yeah, I can kind of... I can kind of maybe agree. Oh, my God. I can kind of maybe agree when it comes to those blue bird aliens. The phoenixes? What's the plural of phoenix? Fien Fieni? Anyway, uh, I think I could see where Atari were maybe... Hey, you took our idea. Okay. This next level here. And they do split. You know, like, they. that's sort of... And then I think he'll grow his wings back if you don't shoot him. Yeah, okay. So that's the arcade original. Maybe, maybe I could see this being considered very much like Demon Attack. Yeah, sure. All right, uh, I get where their where their uh, where their lawyers were at with that. I I suppose so. Is that it? Dead? That's it. Over. Okay. Yeah, there is Phoenix and Demon Attack, worthy of a lawsuit between Atari and Imagic, and I think Imagic were okay. I think they won that court case, but. Um, I've, I've never tried this, so I just wanted to give it a whirl. Anyway, until... Oh, you get that thing, too. Man, I don't think I could have got as far as him. But that's interesting, because that's something that uh, Demon Attack does not have. There's no boss battle or reach the, the final uh, challenge in, in it. So it's different enough. I, I'm I'm thinking if a Magic did, in fact, win the uh, the lawsuit, then, yeah, it's it's a different enough game. This is actually pretty good. Maybe I'll play it again sometime. But for now, I'll say we'll see you down the rabbit hole.